So far, more than 25,000 New Yorkers have died from the Wuhan coronavirus. That's more than Germany and Canada combined. The governor of New York is a man called Andrew Cuomo, and a policy he put in place is heavily responsible for this. It was a nursing home policy, and it directed coronavirus positive patients back into the homes and prevented nursing homes from making them go to hospitals. That may have been the single biggest factor in New York's astronomical death count. Now, an honest leader would admit that and take responsibility for his poor decisions. But Governor Cuomo is not doing that. He is, needless to say, blaming everyone but himself. Anyone who wants to ask why did the state uh, do that with COVID patients in nursing home, it's because the state followed President Trump's CDC guidance. Who can we prosecute for those deaths? Nobody. Nobody. Mother Nature, God, and you had this political conspiracy theory that uh, the deaths in nursing homes were preventable. I think it is all politically motivated. If anybody looked at the facts, they would know that it was wholly absurd on its face. Janice Dean is our senior meteorologist here at Fox. She lost both of her in-laws in facilities licensed by New York State to the coronavirus. She knows a lot about this topic and she joins us tonight. Janice, thanks so much for coming on. Now, I don't, I don't want to run rub salt in this very fresh wound, but to hear the governor of New York pass the buck on to the president for his decision, how do you respond to that? He's blamed everybody except the person that signed the mandate, the order to bring COVID patients into nursing homes, and that was Andrew Cuomo. He signed the order at the very beginning. He said, listen, if you have a problem with what happens in New York, you blame me. The buck stops at my desk. He has never taken any responsibility or accountability. And as you just played, he has blamed everyone except himself, God, Mother Nature. He's blamed Fox News. He's blamed the New York Post, Mother Nature. Uh, it never ends. And today, uh, he continued to blame Fox News and says there doesn't need to be an independent investigation because the last invest investigation was done by himself into his administration. And of course, he came up clean. The people to blame were the nursing care workers and the visitors. And by the way, we weren't allowed to visit my in-laws before they died. So I don't believe that one. So you uh, uh, live in New York, you work in New York, your family was devastated by this decision. Have you had a chance to tell Governor Cuomo that? No, I had a chance to speak today. Uh, I filled out all the paperwork and I sent letters uh, to assemblymen and lawmakers New York state lawmakers for the hearings today. They were actually August the 3rd, last Monday, and today. They couldn't fit me in last Monday, but they said that they would put me on today to give me my five minutes to talk about my in-laws and why I hold the governor partly responsible for their deaths. Um, that invitation was rescinded after, you know, I was told that the chair said, you will have your five minutes, and, and I never got that today. So I thank you, Tucker, for being good on your word and having me on your program today. We're always delighted to have you on this show, Janice, even under sad circumstances like this. I appreciate your coming on, and I'm really sorry once again. Thank you for following the story. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thank you.